everyone. Welcome to Ginger Plant. Rita Nechwam is my name, the AS manager. We are here to showcase the progress of territorial safety and how it is benefiting all the frontliners and all departments for us to improve our safety performance. Hello everyone, I am Namusoke Pal Yunis, Kaliza Sarah Caroline, and we are brewing operators. Territorial safety is a concept that empowers me to own up the safety in my territory. This is done by identifying the hazards in my area, mitigating the hazards and stopping the process where necessary. This helps me to avoid any situation which may lead to incidents or injuries. Our target is in zero injuries and at the end of the day, you and I need to go back safe. And this also improves the safety in my territory because we want to create world-class safe conditions for you and I. I'm here to present our journey for the concept of territorial safety and the benefits of this concept to me as a frontliner. This concept empowers me as a frontline team member to own safety within my territory by identifying the hazards within my territory, mitigating the hazards and stopping the hazards such that no one is harmed within my territory. For proper implementation of this concept, there are several enablers. One is PPE matrix. Any person coming to my territory should have the mandatory PPEs. For example, any person coming should have gum boots and other PPEs that are required within my territory. If the person does not have the required PPEs, I have the authority to stop that person from entering my territory until when they get the required PPEs. Second enabler of this concept is the territory risk map. It shows all the safety and environmental hazards that are within my territory. How do we come up with this? After SIO analysis, after an incident has occurred, after change has occurred, and after problem solving. The third enabler of this concept is the high risk tasks. We identified the activities that are happening within my territory and came up with the activities that are likely to cause severe injuries or fatalities. This benefits me as a frontliner in a way that I know the risks within my territory, the mitigation measures before I execute a certain task, and the pre-task risk assessment that I'm supposed to do before doing any task. The benefits of the risk map to me as the frontliner is it helps me to identify the safety hazards and environmental hazards within my territory and how to deal with them. The other enabler of this concept is the Lototo Shadow Board. It consists of the equipment that I require as a frontliner for effective implementation of Lototo. It also consists of the hazard notices, the cones, and the condoning tapes. The benefits of this shadow board is to help me to quickly access the tools that I require for Lototo. It also helps me to restrict access within my territory. Ownership means awareness. As a frontliner, I need to be able to know, to understand, and identify the hazards which are in my area. This enables me to react to hazards which are specific to my territory, and that is brew house B. When I come on shift, I am able to do a walkabout around my area and identify these hazards and record them on our safety hazard notification dashboard. As we can see here today, I was able to identify the sleep hazard near the Mecca Masha, and it was mitigated by condoning of the area. These hazard notices are later transferred to our territory heat map and they are updated as they occur because you may be handed over to you a territory which is free of hazards but as the shift continues different hazards may occur and that is why it is important to continually update our territory heat and risk map. It is not enough to identify these hazards. It is also important to react to these hazards and that we react to these hazards by our safety hazard stop lights. These stop lights enable me as a frontliner as an operator to stop the process and mitigate the hazards. What are the examples of these stoplights? We have red. What does red imply? Red implies that the hazard cannot be resolved without stopping the process. And what is the action? The action is to stop the process and resolve the hazard. If it means stopping the work or stopping the equipment because safety is our focus. Yellow basically implies that the hazard can be resolved while the process continues. But however, it is important 
important to mitigate this hazard. And we saw some of the mitigations on our safety hazard notification dashboards, which include condoning of or notifying others. With the yellow zone, it is important to call for help where required and also escalate to your team leaders or area specialists because these people are experts. They are able to give you on shift assistance in order to ensure that your area is free of hazards. Green implies that there is no hazard present. However, this does not stop you and I from identifying the hazards in our territory to enable that we have a territory that is free of hazards. Why? Because safety is our number one priority. Another key enabler on our territorial board is our safety inspection checklist. This consists of safety activities that are done at the beginning of the shift, during the shift, and at the end of the shift. At the beginning of the shift, it is important to check your territory for any hazards and record them on your safety hazard notification dashboard. At the, during the shift, it is important to proactively inform any visitors, contractors, even fellow employees of the hazards which are in your area. Why? Because it's important to care for other people's safety and not just our own safety. And at the end of the shift, we do a handover to ensure continuity of safety by informing my relief operator of the hazards which are in my territory. Our safety inspection checklist also contains the bypasses which have been made and they are recorded here at our bypass permit. It is also important to review the bypasses which have been made at the start of the shift and their status. And they can be shown here on our bypass permit which is on our board. All pending actions from our territory safety board are captured here on our operator workstation for follow-up and closure by the concerned people. In this area, we have a slip hazard due to a leakage near the chilled liquor tank. As part of a mitigation, the area has been condoned off and also escalation has been done to the concerned person and the condoning off has been done to prevent access to this area because we do not want any slip incidents. We have another slip hazard in this area due to a leakage from the condescent line. As part of a mitigation, we have condoned off to restrict access. Everyone has been notified to use alternative routes and also a tank has been put in place to, to contain the water which is dripping from the condescent line.